It's always amazing to look at life from an inner point of view, or maybe we can say from a higher angle than the angle that we were used to look at our own personal lives in the past. Because our lives are compared to the Jacob letter that angels are rising up and coming down on it. Means that there is always movement in life. And it's or that the person is rising or that God forbid is falling down. Now, it all depends in your mindset. You know those psychedelic pictures that you look at them and you're not so sure if the staircase is going up or if it's going down, if the angles are like dark in, 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 in their edges with different shades that are confusing the eyes. Sometimes in life you can feel that you're going up but actually you're falling fast. And sometimes in life you can feel that you're so down and so broken and so low and that is the highest, highest moment of your life. This is a moment of extreme growth. Something so highly and holy and, and, and divine is happening in your life that you find yourself sweating and struggling and putting so much effort. And it's only because that now is the time that you are carving your way up and the way really to recognize your spot in that journey is only by looking deep into your soul and trying to recognize your inner own true intention where your mind is at and where it's aimed to because you are the rider of your holy chariot you are the one who leads your own vehicle towards holiness with good and pure intentions and hopes and prayers and holy yearnings to Hashem and to the truth or God forbid when the person falls to sadness depression anger all negative way of thinking then he is tilting and bending his path to listen to the voice of the evil inclination of the Yetzirah and by listening to him distracting his own thoughts from the straight path that is rising up the hill and going down god forbid to dark places to shallow places to boring places of laziness and depression anxieties and fear so the thought is in the hand of the person to aim it according to his own will in the mind of the person there is only place that is enough for one thought and that's it you cannot have two thoughts in the same time. Like that you cannot speak two different speeches in the same time. You have the ability to say only one word at a time and you cannot say two different words in the same time. In the same way, while you're thinking, in the lane of your thoughts, there is only one direction, one way street of flow of thoughts. So you can think only one thought. And that is a very powerful tool that was given by the Maker to us in our hands to control our thoughts through it. Because it gives us the power to choose to think right. And every time that negative thoughts are crossing your mind, you can force them by thinking on a positive other thing. And to focus on that good thing and to reject the negative thought in that way. That, let's say, a sad and depressed thought came into your mind and trying to break your spirit and to lower your speed and to reject you from your hopes and your holy will to grow and to come closer to the truth and to improve by planting despair and sadness and bitterness and frustration and all kinds of dark and sad thoughts so you should just focus your mind aim your heart into reminding yourself of some good point something even a broken good point that you have a fraction of goodness a spark of goodness that you can think of in your life like I'm still breathing, like the minimum of the minimum, but I'm alive, but I can think about Hashem. But I still have hope that if I will try to correct, I might be able to, like even hopeful thoughts. 
even thoughts that are not completely perfect, just they are aiming up by focusing your mind on those thoughts and sometimes it requires a lot of effort to hold the thought on a positive route but that is our mission and if you're gonna aim yourself to think in that way the good and holy thoughts will reject the negative and impure thoughts completely